Today I will show you how to bend text and some other shapes too. We will also look at shape properties and see a few clever little things you can do there. So stick with me and let's bend it using Lightburn. If you like what you see in my videos, please like, share and subscribe to encourage me to make more videos for you. Now you may or may not be aware there is a simple way to bend text using Lightburn and you do this by manipulating this little green circle and that will enable you to simply bend the text down or bend the text up. But did you know there's a better way to do it? We will use Lightburn's Warp selection and its bigger brother, Deform selection, to great effect here. Grabbing this little blue circle here, we can move one of the corners any which way we like. Here we do it with the bottom one. But if you use the Shift key, you can also drag two opposing corners at the same time. If you move one node and then decide afterwards you want to have the other side the same, you can press shift and click it and it will make both sides identical. Works both ways of course. Using the ALT key rather than the SHIFT key, you can do the same thing but vertically. And as with the SHIFT key, you can do the same with the note snapping to get it to mirror the other side the way you want it to. With the deform option you can do the same with the shift and the alt keys but you have a lot more circles to manipulate and you can get some very interesting results. OK, let's bring a circle onto the screen now. Using the same tools, we can stretch and deform the circle into any shape we like. This can come in very handy. As you can see the shape possibilities from a simple circle are endless. As promised, now a little bit mess about with shape properties. I'll just load this rectangle and we'll see what we can do with this. Yep, 
Using the corner radius, if we give a negative number, we will pull the corners inwards. You might use this for a plaque or some similar thing. And if you give a positive number, you will round the corners off to make a nice, um, whatever that might be. You can also change the dimensions of your original obje object, making it uh, wider or longer, shorter, whatever you may want to do. And of course you can still use the warp and deform tools to manipulate it even further. Okay, staying with shape properties, I will pull in this uh, hectagon and showing with shape properties how you can manipulate it into various shapes. Um, you can turn it almost into a circle if you keep going that way. But of course that wouldn't be much use to you, you've already got a circle tool. If you go the opposite way, you can go all the way down into a triangle and this can be very very useful okay that's it for this video i hope it's been some help to you and if you like the videos please think about a subscription it helps me out a great deal thanks for watching